For this last chi-square analysis, we're actually going to use a different data file to complete this customized expected value chi-squared analysis, and we're going to do so using a different scenario and a different research question. Hypothetically, there's a manufacturing company that wants to try first-class postage for direct milling. They're doing this to see if they can get faster response times than they have been receiving using bulk mail. The order takers are going to record how many weeks each order takes after milling. For our research question, we would like to know, does first-class mailing provide quicker response times than bulk mail? For this particular test, our note hypothesis is that first-class and bulk mailings do not result in different customer response times. Our alternative hypothesis states that first-class and bulk mailings do result in different customer response times. Let's take a look at the arrangement of the data file. The first variable, week, are the 12 weeks of this observation. The first class variable denotes the number of weeks each order took to respond after being mailed first class. The bulk mail variable denotes the number of weeks each order took to respond after being mailed by bulk. Since we have new variables within this file, we must again tell PASW which variable we will use to constitute our observed values. And once again, to do that, we need to weight the cases. First, select your data menu. Then, select weight cases. In the weight cases dialog box, select the weight cases by radio button. Then, Select the first class mail variable and transfer it over to the frequency variable text box. Then select the OK button. It will take note of this change in your output viewer, but let's go ahead and switch back to our data file now. Now that we weighed our cases, we're ready to finally run our test. Let's first select the Analyze menu, mouse down to Non-Parametric Tests, and then select Chi-Square. Your Chi-Square test dialog box will appear. And after selecting the week of response variable, let's transfer that into our test variable list box. Then, under the Expected Values area, let's select the Values radio button. We are now going to input the bulk mail response weeks from our data file. So you can take a look over to the left at the bulk mail, and we're going to go ahead and input those values from top to bottom. So first, let's click in the Values text box and type 6. Click the Add button. Click back in the Values text box and type 15.1. Click the Add button. In the Values text box, type 18. Click the Add button. In the Values text box, type 12. Click the Add button. In the Values text box, type 11.5. Click the Add button. In the Values text box, type 9.8. Click the Add button. In the Values text box, type 7. Click the Add button. In the Values text box, type 6.1. Click the Add button. In the Values text box, type 5.5. Click the Add button. 
In the values text box, type 3.9. Click the Add button. In the values text box, type 2.1. Click the Add button. In the values text box, type 2. And then click the Add button. Before we select OK, ensure that you have typed in all of the numbers and that you have done so correctly from the top of the bulk mail list down to the bottom. Once this has been done, select the OK button. In the Output Viewer, let's scroll down to view our output for our chi-squared test analysis. If you were to take a look and compare your frequencies table to your actual data file, you will find that the first three columns are the exact same. And then, as we have learned, the residual is simply our observed minus our expected value. Let's scroll down to see our significance value. The resulting significance value of 0.345 is greater than the 0.05 threshold. Therefore, we cannot reject the null hypothesis, and we can conclude that the first-class male promotion did not produce response times that were statistically different than standard bulk mail. We should probably let the manufacturing company know they could save money on mailings by switching back to bulk.